Tiny looked like a majestic cat. Tiny the little kitty coming at you. Hello? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some modded Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved server! Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. Just been going around doing some stuff and things over here. Over here, we got some gasoline crap. Well, we got some gasoline crafting up. Making some more gas for our generator over here, which we may not need in a minute. And uh, over here, we're making all sorts of stuff and things. Oh, wait. It looks like it's done. We were making some smelted copper. We were making some windows. I think I might have moved them all over here into the steam workshop. You can see we got some steel, or pardon me, copper plates, some copper. We got some window stuff and things for building in there. Uh, what else have I been doing? Oh, check out all the metal stuff and things we got, peeps. Super amazing. 23,776 metal. Super unbelievably crazy. Oh, and I also placed some more lights up underneath on the second part of the base over here. Um, and it's totally lit up. It's so cool. No need to change the camera at night. Everything works perfectly great. And it's all powered through this relay. With the power station under there. Super cool stuff and things going on. And uh, and we got our guys down here. And we got our dozer. Oh, guys, thanks so much for showing your support on the video with dozer. I had so much fun taming him up. I really do appreciate it. You guys don't. I'm just saying thank you. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, peeps. Show your support right now. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. So today we're going to play around some other stuff and things. Over here at the charging station, I'm really interested in this wireless alien generator. I want to see what this is all about. We're going to need to make 10 fuel gel in order to do that. Let's go ahead and craft one of these. Is it one for one? Okay, so we can just craft up another nine. Uh, there we'll go. Oh, that'll be 10. Yeah, there we go right there. And we'll need some glass panels, polymer, and metal ingots to make that. So let's take a look inside of here. Actually, glass panels, we can grab those right there like a so. What else would we need it? 10 polymer and 100 metal ingots. So let's go ahead and get the 10 polymer. I think I've got that over here. Look at that. And then we have uh, 40 metal ingots in our inventory for a reason. So let's go ahead and grab another 100. So yeah, been doing some off-camera stuff and things pretty much every day. You know, before I start getting stuff ready, I go around and get stuff. You know, I go around and just do my rounds. Um, went ahead and got a little bit of obsidian, got some more crystal. I got a bunch of hide now. I got some more silica pearls. Went and gathered up a little bit more chitin. Inside the alchemy forge, I went ahead and made... I need some more stone. I made some more cementing paste. Just did a bunch of off-camera garbo. Um, but yeah, so over here, now what we've got... Let's go ahead and squirt the rest of the 100 of these in here. Like a so. And then that. Let's go ahead and craft this item. And there it is, peeps. The wireless alien generator. But wait. But wait. Before we do that, some other stuff and things that I want to show you here. Check it out, peeps. The Jurassic Smithy. There's only a couple things from this, but I want to go ahead and check it out. So we went ahead and crafted the Jurassic Smithy. But wait, there's more! If you call now, we'll also be crafting up from the, um, I think this is Arc Futurism. I, I can't even remember. We're going to craft up the MK2, the Fabricator MK2. Um, place materials along with blueprints to create high-end mechanical stuff and things. I'm honestly not exactly sure what it does, but um, I think we're going to play around it. We're going to see. Um, and I think we're going to try to place it right over here if we can. Um, we have the Arc Jurassic work table. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. While we're crafting up the MK2, we'll place this work table right over here. Let's do it right in the middle there. Oh, look at it. Oxy and Nostuff. Modding and DevCo. Amazing. So inside of here, basically, there's only a couple of things that we can craft. So the uh, electric behemoth fence and then the electric small fence. Uh, and then under gates, we have the Jurassic gate frame. And they thought it was going to be expensive. A thousand metal? Pfft, that ain't nothing. And then we have the Jurassic gate. So that's basically what this mod does. It just adds the gate and the fences really are kind of like something that we want to play around. That'll be really cool. But um, going to be kind of hard to use maybe in this area. All right. Let's go back over to our MK2. <laughs> MK2. And uh, let's place this bad boy over here. Will electrically it work? I do not know. Actually, it might take gas. Requires gasoline to be activated. Nail the days that can't be stopped. So we have a little bit of gas right here. Mm-hmm. That's right. Thinking ahead. And this thing has like, look, it's like a nuclear power station on the side of it. 
It's like a fabricator with nuclear deal on it. All right, so let's squirt that in there. Weapons, firearms. Oh, my goodness gracious. The assault rifle MK2, .50 caliber rifle, A-tank missile launcher, fabricated pistol, pump action MK2 shotgun, tranquilizer rifle, machined grenade launcher. What? Torpedoes. All right, what do we got over here? Attachments, the laser attachment, flashlight attachment, the 50 cal scope, and then under ammo, we've got the torpedoes shotgun ammo tool. A way to switch between slug and buckshot if you don't have attachments. Slug ammo and the A-tank missile. I find it interesting. Maybe I haven't learned the other engrams for the other stuff. Um, I'm actually out of engram points. Yeah, it looks like these require huge amounts of engram points. So um, before we had an overabundance of anger points, we added we didn't add stuff, and I think some of the mods updated and added some anger points to them. So uh, I ended up learning a bunch of stuff, and because um, I was just learning it all, and it looks like that um, blue drop box, purple drop box. I didn't even know you could make these. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in the mods that I just still don't know. There's so much to learn. Um, but anyway, I ended up running out of anger points, so we can make a mind wipe tonic. Uh, probably pretty easily and go ahead and get that going so we can maybe play around with some of this stuff, too All right, so we're switching gears. I know we're getting a little bit uh, uh, We're getting a little bit of uh, multitasking going on, but we did already already got the Jurassic thingy doodler already got the mk2 thingy doodler now We're gonna play around with this bad board right here so let's pull this out a an reusable that's incorrect should be a reusable just to let you know a reusable wireless alien generator that forms an electric grid provides power to all nearby devices that use electricity it requires organic fuel cells to be powered. So here's the organic fuel cells. These need polymer, metal, and organic fuel gel. Let's just make 100. Let's just make 100 of these guys up. And then we're going to need some polymer and some metal. So let's grab... Um, do we have 100 polymer? Pfft, yeah, sure do. Let me see here. And I'm using, by the way, shift T to move a half stack. Um, let's go ahead and grab some metal in here. Let's grab 500, like a so. And that way we can make 100 of these fuel cells up really fast, see what this is all about. So we'll go inside of here. We'll drop this and drop this. We're going to wait. Um, put that right there. We're going to wait uh, for these 100 to craft. And then let's take a look at what this looks like even. No ground snap point. I mean... Does it just go on the ground ground? Like, weird. It It's showing like it wants to snap. Oh, that thing is super weird looking, man. So will it like snap on a wall? Is that the deal? It does, it, like it's a wall deal. Okay, it's a wall deal. Can we go on the ceiling, maybe? Uh, you can't place it on the floor, which I find to be really, really weird. Um, oh, well, actually it's not a floor, those are ceilings. So that might be a waste of our time to come up here. Oh, I removed one of our ring sets, too, because they were borking. They're being borky. All right. So I want to see if you can place it on the bottom of the ceiling. So in order to do that, we're going to have to go underneath the base here. Pretty easy. No. All right. So it's got to be a wall. Huh. Hmm. Ha, hmm, ha. All right. Let's take a look inside of here. Do we have, like, a wall wall? We have a wall wall. All right, let's just grab a wall like this, and then let's place it down here by, ooh! That was a close call, peeps. We'll place it down here by this generator, like a so. Now, can we access, nah, nah, we need all that. This was pr perhaps a bad spot. Let's do, well, no, we should be right. All right, so let's place it over here. I just wanna make sure I can like get in betwixt it and the, th and the other thing. All right, we can. So we'll place it right here. Oh, look at it. I don't even know what it reminds me of. It's just like a thing. It's definitely alien-y. I mean, not like H.R. Geiger, Giger, but uh, it's alien-y for sure. So with this thing, let's go ahead and just see. This is wireless alien generator. And then if we go here, four menu, access inventory, power grid, power grid. Oh, oh, whoa, it's like showing us like a thing. Oh, that's neat, man. It's like a super amazing thing we're in. Okay. So, it wirelessly regenerate power. You know, it's kind of sucky that it's around. Because nobody builds anything round. 
Um, and I feel like it's not really big enough um, to be effective. I guess it's still pretty cool. So let me see here. Pick up. We can just turn that off. Okay. So then what does this say for menu? Does that do anything? No. Okay. So this is just the power grid deal. All right. So if we were to choose the center, let's go ahead and pick it up. We'll demolish this wall. Let's go back up. Grab another wall real quick. They are right. Uh -huh. Like a soup. Now let us choose the center-ish E part of the base here. So if we if we squirt down, oh, somebody's coming in. Somebody's coming to our house. Oh no, that was our ring activating because <laughs> we went underneath it. So it's basically three ceilings past, or two ceilings past, or three ceilings past where the where the relay goes up. I, got, <laughs> I thought someone was coming. We're gonna have to defend our stuff and things. So there it is. You can see it right there. So if we take this wall, oh, we can't place it there. Gosh, darn it all the heck. That is kind of a neat thing, but really almost a huge pain in the butt to hide it. Because you'd think you would want to hide it. You know what I mean? Like it's hidden power. There's no cables. The whole point of it would be to hide it. But having to place it in the center of a thing kind of makes it a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe let's try it down over here. So this would be the, the center. Let's try it down over here. This will probably work. So like right here, we can place our wall. Now, if we take the alien generator and we were to squirt it up on this edge, like right uh -huh. now, can we access this? We sure can. Now let's go ahead. Nope, wrong. And then let's go uh, power grid. And let's just take a look at what it does inside of this base right here. So it looks like that this would not hit anything, any of the machines that we put, because we put our machines on the edges. Um, so you, I guess you just would have to have multiples of them, which is fine. We can totally do that. We can totally make multiples. I mean, that's not a big deal. Um, but I think it's going to kind of matter. It's going to, how fast it burns power, how fast it burns the cells is going to make a difference for us. So we've got our 100 organic fuel cells now, 100 polymer, 500 of these bad boys, one, one, and five. We can go ahead and craft up. Oh, each one makes five. Well, well, let's just do it. 500 fuel cells. So there's five of them. Now it doesn't say fuel to power wireless alien generator. It doesn't really say like how long it works for. Oh, it does say it says 20 hours right on it. 25 hours. Each one of these is five hours. So that's one day's worth. 500 would be 10, 20, 20 days, something like that. Um, a little over 20 days worth of power um, for 500 of them. Um, so if you were to build a thousand, which it didn't take us that much, um, we'd be well over a month, a month of having it burn, um, which is pretty great. That's pretty, pretty cool stuff and things. And I'm figuring we can actually get rid of this Jenny. Um, we could get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, these guys don't require power on this side, but the, the uh, MK2 doesn't now. But some stuff over here, we would want some power. Um, so cool. Very, very interesting. I'm interested to see like what other, what, how it all works and like play around with it a little bit more. All right. So we built the Jurassic table. We got the MK stuff and things going on and we played around with the alien generator. The next thing I want to take a look at, I mean, where this is action packed, make sure to show your support for all the stuff and things. Uh, we're going to take a look at some weapon stuff. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, crafting and I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back with what might be. One of the ugliest of the smithy type <laughs> different smithies for a mod. I don't know. It's kind of cool. This is from the Game of Thrones mod. And uh, if you can't really see, we'll just get down here and go like this. I mean, it says Game of Thrones. It's the Game of Thrones stuff and things. But it does add some pretty crazy stuff. We're going to play around that a little bit. So um, there's a couple of different things. There's actually this, um, which is the G.O.T. No dot build station. Um, and then there's also, I do believe from this mod, the weapons rack too. Now, uh, they're pretty cheap to build. 50 wood and 10 metal ingots for the weapons rack. And then for the G.O.T, um, that's just 100 wood. So really simple to make. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this guy. And we'll take it and squirt it over here. These kind of don't fit our theme. But what the heck? Oh, that looks cool, man. Super amazing. So, uh, oh, there's weapons. Okay, we'll get to the weapons here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy and see what all it, all the things that it adds in. So you can get all these different house signs from it. The Game of Thrones intro sign, the Iron Throne, which 
I mean, we pretty much need to figure out how to put that somewhere. House Lannister sign. It adds some different maps. I really want to see what this looks like. 3D Winterfell map. Um, and there's some beds. There's some cupboards. Uh, cupboards. Um, there's some, there's a turkey feast. I mean, it only. I don't know why it takes 10 metal. But let's, let's make a turkey feast. I mean, who doesn't want a 10 metal worth of turkey feast? So the weird thing about this mod is that everything seems to take, like, really odd the combinations of stuff. Some stuff's metal, some stuff's wood, some's wood thatch fiber, some's raw metal and wood. Like, it's kind of, there's no, it's just kind of all over the place. Let's go ahead and grab some metal, or uh, pardon me, wood. Let's grab some thatch and fiber as well. So we've got thatch, we've got uh, fiber, we've got fi we've got no fiber. Oh, there's raw metal, thank goodness. So we can actually just drop uh, some of this in there, some of that, we'll drop that all of that in there. And then, am I, am I really, do I really not have any fiber? You know what, I bet I've got some over here. I bet you any money. Somewhere in one of these containers contains fiber. Fiber? Now the nice decay stopped. All right, so let's actually grab a bunch of this out of here. Uh, we will split it in case we need more, and then we'll drop the rest of it in this bad boy. I'm thinking that's gonna open up almost everything. All right, we need some hide as well. So let's just go ahead and grab, uh, 900 hide we'll squirt that in there is there anything left in here we can't build okay these guys require some stone which i'm super low on crapo all right so really quickly we'll just go grab a bunch of stone it shouldn't take more than an instant we'll get on our boy here and just go down and hit hit up this guy right here we should get 2000 stone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever, man. The peeps are watching you trying to take a dump break. Wait, what? Did you just see that? What is happening? Sorcery. So, all right, we got 1,800 stone. We'll pop back up here. Go ahead and grab it and squirt it in there. What do we got for weight on that? 930. Nailed it. Is oh, oh, weird. Oh, that's why. I couldn't see it because I didn't have my stuff and things on. We'll just split that in half. There we go. And we'll squirt this inside of here, too. All right, so what do we want to build? Uh, turkey feast, obviously. Oh, man. We need cementing base. Oh, and way huge more amounts of stone for that. Let's go ahead and grab uh, just 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, All right, uh, and squirt that in here. I want to check out this ice foundation. There's just, two, just these two things. Large ice wall. Want to build an ice wall from Game of Thrones? Here you go, 2,500 stone and 250 cementing paste. I mean, we've got to check it out. So we've got a turkey feast now. Let's build this ice uh, foundation. Give me this guy. We got to build that wall too. And then there's like some awesome beds, some awesome really crazy beds. I want to build this map because it's supposed to be like a 3D relief. So I want to check that out. And then what else do we want? How about the throne? We got to build it just to try. Hopefully we can pick this stuff up. All right. So let's go ahead and check out our turkey feast. For starters. <laughs> Look out. That's pretty big. That's a lot of turkey feast. We got to give these as gifts. Oh, oh, the game is not impressed. Okay. Look at it. Amazing turkey dinner. It looks pretty good. I mean, I'm kind of hungry. So that's great. We can access the inventory of the turkey dinner. We can't, what is this stuff? Cooked turkey meat. So it, this is, when you build it, it gives you food. All right, mixed vegetables. <laughs> Nothing better than stuffed turkey with mm, vegetables and medjo berries for cranberry sauce, I'm guessing is what it is. So, all right, interesting. Every time you build one of these, you get food. All right, now, if we put this in our inventory, does the timer change? Yes. If we were to drop this in our cooker, can we? No. Can we put it back into our turkey dinner? We sure can. All right, now, what happens if we pick up our turkey dinner? Oh, it leaves the food on the ground. All right, so now we picked up the turkey dinner. What happens if we replace the turkey dinner? Unlimited food! We have made the super most amazing discovery! of the day unlimited food you'll never run out of food this is the stupidest awesome thing of all time so you can just like uh pick it up and then go ahead in here and then grab that and it's unlimited food wait does it not stack for seriously and for true no it does not stack 
Let's eat some of it. What happens? Mmm, food. So, all right, it's food. <laughs> Nothing special, but I mean, besides the fact that it's free, unlimited food forever, uh, that's pretty crazy. All right, let's take a look down here at the ice foundation. We're just gonna come down into this early type area and uh, let's go ahead and place it. Okay, it's a white foundation, super white. It's the whitest foundation of all. My goodness gracious. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take our map relief thingy doodler and place it on top here. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, so neat. Pick up Winterfell. Oh, that's it. You just pick it right up. Holy crap. All right, let's 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 see if we can't. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can't get on here and go ahead and... Does it look like Winterfell to you? I mean, it pretty much does. You know what? I got to give props to these guys. I bet you it took a long time to make this look the way that it looks. That's a lot of really fine detail work. So we could just pick that bad boy up. Pretty cool. Um, and what else was there that we wanted to play with? That was just the map. We got the turkey dinner. I can't believe it's unlimited food. Let's go ahead and place this bad boy right here. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, man. Game of Gator. It's like the newest thing. I just want to get him out of the picture here. Look at this thing, man. That is super cool. So let's put this back on. Sit on the Iron Throne. Hold for more options. We can pick it up or we can sit on it. It looks like we're dumping. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> kind of looks like... uh, <laughs> Look at our head. Okay. Uh, so there's no way to like <laughs> change our view. So what I was trying to do is make it so you look like ahead. So if, we, if you go like this, you're just going to look to the left, I guess. Oh, we're kind of scanning... We're kind of scanning. We're, we're we're lording over all that is in front of us. Okay. And then if we K, why do we look the other way in K mode? That's so weird, man. But the uh, the uh, throne itself is pretty rad looking, right? I mean, it looks like the Game of Thrones. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. So we can pick it up, which is rad. And then can we possibly pick this up? No, we can demolish it, though. All right. So... That was really neat. Those are really cool. I definitely want to go ahead and build this uh, super wall, too, that we don't have the resources for. Um, we'll play around with that later. Can we stick this stuff back in there? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And we'll stick the Mejos right in here. And uh, I guess we'll just keep the food. we got to see if we were to build a refrigerator, if that will lengthen the amount of time that stuff lasts. So over here, we also want to play around with the weapon shop. I want to see what's up with these guys. So, so holy crap. Black coloring, blue coloring. How do you make coloring? I mean, does it mean does it mean dye? These are super expensive, man. Well, these guys are ascendant, journeyman, ascendant, ascendant. Wow, these things are super pricey. Mastercraft, the unicorn. <laughs> it takes tons and tons of dyes. Ascendant, the bone shard. So let's take a look here. Are all the ascendants the same? 270, 233. No, this guy is different. This guy is different. Durabilities are all very different. So that's 239%. We don't know what the base damage is. This guy was 233. That guy's 239, 160, 170. It looks like this guy here, 233. No, oh, right there. This guy, the ascendant, the snarl axe, is kind of the most the highest weapons damage but i don't know if that's it you know we gotta make some of these but it's gonna be really expensive um i guess i'm gonna play around with it i'm gonna get some of the stuff and things together to make this guy some of these weapons or at least one of them i'm gonna get some of the stuff and things together to make this ice wall because i want to see what that looks like and then i'll be our bees peeps and we're back and so much stuff has gone on guys i've been working for a long time to get some stuff and things through together so I started playing around with this weapons rack, right? And it says in here for all these things, coloring. So I made some dye. And what it means by coloring is it means dye. Why it doesn't say black dye, I don't know. And why it doesn't have the little black dye icon, I don't know. Or there probably isn't one. But um, so I started looking around inside the mods to try to make something that would make dye for us, right? Um, every one of these mods has some sort of a cooker that will cook food. Like if you go inside of here and then you go into structures and then you go into cooking... You know, you got this thing. It says ferments, tasty brew from thatch water and berries. So that's like a beer barrel. Then it says this thing, industrial electric stove, perfect for cooking. But so there was tons of industrial grill options, but no industrial, um, what is this thing even called anymore? Industrial cooker, pardon me. 
So I decided to go with the industrial cooker. So I made it. And I noticed that a pipe attached to this well. So I was like, all right, sweet. We'll go ahead and attach a pipe to the well. Now it'd be great. And so everything will work out perfectly. So I put the well back there and I put the pipe through the wall here and I put the industrial cooker here. And then I looked at the industrial cooker and it says not irrigated. And I was like, oh crap, oh, it's not irrigated. What are we going to do? So then I put this over here and then I went ahead and made a bunch of these jars. And then I went ahead and turned this thing on and it didn't need it. So it's obviously some sort of a glitch with the well. So I was able to make the coloring that I needed. Um, and even though it's not irrigated, you can use the well um, in order to uh, irrigate your industrial cooker. So six or a half dozen. Oh, also inside, I think I told you guys that this was from the, um, the, uh, the, the Game of Thrones mod. It's not from the Game of Thrones mod. This is the weapon racks from the Game of Thrones mod. It's like a spear, a sword, and um, wolf bane or whatever that's called. Oh crap, what's that sword called again? Oh yeah, long claw, right? Isn't it? Any whoozle. So um, the arc and long claw, and there's a primitive Ned Stark sword. Um, there's a couple of shield, shields in here, and then there's the Unsullied Spear. So you can make some of the weapons from Game of Thrones right there. And there also is... Oh, wow, it just got, it turned night. It's super bright now. You know what? I think we can actually turn our gamma down. <laughs> all right, so inside of this dressing screen, you can make all sorts of pieces of armor from, this, from Game of Thrones. Super, super cool stuff. And I started taking a look at it, and I made this guy, the Journeyman the Hound's Helmet, armor level 372, and journeyman guard boots armor level 356 now if we take a look at the mk5 armor i've already put it away over here these are 150 and 200 so this stuff's definitely better let's go ahead and stick it on here so you can see what we look like hold on peeps check it out tiny look like a cat tiny look like a majestic cat tiny the little kitty coming at you hello tiny want to jump on something and fall off and then make a video about it and make a million dollars on youtube <laughs> <laughs> you know, the cat videos where they fall. Any hoozle. So we've got some awesome armor. The boots look really cool. I'm totally into this helmet. It's so, so funny. All right. So we've got our black coloring. We've got all the stuff and things. Let's make this thing Ascendant the Snarl Axe. Oh, my gosh. Oh, crap. We used up something that we needed. Stone. All right. So I wanted to make the Snarl Axe. And then I also wanted to make, well, we can make this thing. Well, do we want to? I guess let's go ahead and make it. Why wouldn't we? And then we need stone. Um, do we have enough inside of here? We have none. We have none of the stone. I want to make that other thing too. So let's head down here. And of course, it'll be like pitch black. Oh, wait. We got to turn names back on. Now we've got a gamma up. There we go. Now we can see the solid. Do you have any stone on you? 3,000. Um, probably can't carry that much. Yeah, not happening. Let's drop that inside of there. We're a little bit burdened here. Don't know if this will be enough. Oh my gosh, the transition is so terribly real. Bam, nailed it, Ace the Cabby stopped. All right, sweet. So that's getting made up. This is terrible. All right, so now inside of here, we've got all these weapons. All right, guys, let's check these out, man. All right, so we'll go ahead and squirt this guy in here, this guy in here, and this guy in here. Now, the this one, I do believe, 239... 244, 239, 206. So, but um, I think this guy's the best, but it has a durability of 167. This has the durability of 230. So, oh, what do the little little descriptions say? This sword is made from pure stone, but still powerful. Some primitive power, and this sword is one of the strongest in the land. All right, let's take a look at what they look like. Mm, mm. Can't block or anything like that. Mm, mm, mm. So it's pretty cool looking. It's kind of a stone sword thingy. It's got some holes in it. Not sure how well it would hold up in battle with the holes in it. So, um, all right, let's just go ahead to the axe. Ooh, what's this? Oh my gosh. This thing looks amazing, man. I miss my lightsabers. All right, and let's take a look at number three. Ooh, I like the look of this. That's cool looking, man. You know what that looks like? Urukai. Urukai. Looks like Urukai sword from Lord of the Rings. Very, very cool. All right, so I'm actually gonna stick this guy and this guy away, and I think this is gonna be our melee weapon right here. So we're gonna move that into there, like so and like so. So we got this guy now. We got new armor. We got our industrial cooker. We got our dressing thing. We got our weapons thing. We got our Game of Thrones thing. We got a lot of stuff and things. We gotta go out into the world and check this out. Um, it's gonna be day soon. Maybe I'll wait for a day, and then we're gonna go kill some stuff with a super axe, man. And we're back. I don't know if we want to take on a scorpion. 
Hold on, this was a whistle passive. Tank it. Tank it, beak hole. Oh no! He's not taking it! Oh, we're ducking for some reason. Get some! Get some! Get some! Oh, it's hitting us a lot. I'm gonna kill it! Okay, we killed it. I feel like we're probably gonna pass out. This is probably not good. Oh, are we not? Oh man! That was awesome! Our super amazing armor did it, Beak Hole! We totally killed that guy! Okay. Two. Two sabers. Yeah, we didn't even like take damage at all. 224 and a 28. Alright. You guys ready? Jump attack! Get some 28! You want some of this hot action? Oh my god! We're doing it! Oh man, totally did it. And the harvest on this isn't that bad either. And it looks like the durability is holding up really, really well. This thing's really cool. All right, guys, I'll tell you what. The episode's going a little long. We did tons of stuff today, man. Played with a bunch of different mods. Got the alien technology stuff and things going. We got new armor stuff and a super cool new weapon. I got to tell you guys, I had a great time today, and I hope that you did too. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to show your support and hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to share your favorite the videos you see fit. I'm a kitty cat coming at you. Man, the stuff of things be with you.